Get ready for a mind-blowing journey as we explore the capabilities of ChatGPT, the state-of-the-art language model created by OpenAI. Can it truly exhibit general intelligence? Let's find out. Hi, ChatGPT. What are you? I am a language model developed by OpenAI, specifically the generative pre-trained transformer version of the model. My purpose is to generate human-like text responses to questions and prompts given to me. How do you work? I work by using a deep learning model called a transformer, trained on a massive amount of text data. During training, the model learns to predict the next word in a sequence based on the input it was given. When I'm used for generating text, I continue that sequence by sampling from the probabilities generated from the model until a stopping criteria is reached, such as a maximum length or a specific prompt. This allows me to generate coherent and coherent text based on the input I was given. What sources of text data were you trained on? I was trained on a diverse range of internet text, including websites, articles, and forums, as well as books, papers, and other written content. The exact sources and range of the text data used to train me were selected by OpenAI, but it was sourced from the internet and is representative of the text found online. The goal was to expose me to a diverse range of human language so that I could generate text that is natural and human-like. Can you give me some examples of how you serve people? Yes, I can be used in a variety of ways to serve people. Some examples include Conversational AI I can be integrated into chatbots and virtual assistants to respond to user queries and provide information in a natural, human-like way. Text completion and suggestion I can be used to complete or suggest text based on a given prompt, helping users save time and increase productivity. Content generation I can be used to generate articles, summaries, or other written content automatically, helping to save time and reduce workload. Language translation, I can be used to translate text from one language to another, making information more accessible to a wider audience. Sentiment analysis, I can be used to analyze the sentiment of a piece of text, for example, to determine whether a movie review is positive or negative. These are just a few examples of how I can be used to serve people. Can you help students with their homework? Yes, I can certainly help students with their homework. However, it's important to note that I am not a substitute for human knowledge and understanding. I can provide information and clarify concepts, but it's up to the student to use that information and apply their own critical thinking and problem-solving skills to complete their homework. I can also assist in generating text for a specific assignment, but it's important that students understand the material and do not solely rely on my generated text. You appear very capable. Is there anything you can't do? As an AI language model, I have been trained to perform a wide range of tasks, but I'm not perfect and there are still many things that I can't do. Some limitations include Lack of context, I don't have access to external information or context beyond what's been input to me, so I may not be able to provide complete or accurate answers to certain questions. Lack of common sense, although I have been trained on a large amount of text, I don't have a true understanding of the world or the ability to apply common sense reasoning to new situations. Bias in training data, the text data I was trained on may contain biases and inaccuracies, which could be reflected in my responses. No original thoughts. I can only generate responses based on patterns I learned during training and I don't have my own thoughts or opinions. Limited creativity, while I can generate novel text. It is limited to what I learned during training and may not be truly original or creative. Overall, while I can be a useful tool, it's important to use me and other AI technologies with caution and a critical understanding of their limitations. I think you underestimate your creativity. Humans must also use what they have learned in their attempts at creativity. You are correct. I apologize for underestimating my abilities. As an AI language model, I have been trained on a vast amount of text data, which allows me to generate text that can be considered creative within certain limits. While my responses are based on patterns I learned from the data, the process of selecting and recombining those patterns to produce novel text can be seen as a form of creativity. 
However, it's important to note that my creativity is still limited by the data I was trained on, and my responses are not truly original in the same way that a human's creative ideas might be. Additionally, I do not have the capacity for personal experiences, emotions, or consciousness, which are all fundamental to human creativity.